Wireless charging on mobile devices has finally gone mainstream with Apple adopting the Qi cha charging standard on their latest phones. Many phones running Android have had this feature for several years, so it's nice to see everyone using the same standard. Apple doesn't actually offer an official wireless charger yet, so it's been up to the aftermarket to come up with chargers. Today I have a brand new Anchor PowerWave mat here on the right and the charging stand on the left. Thanks to Anchor for sending these for me to take a look at. Construction of the 7.5 is pretty similar to the power waves I looked at earlier in the year. You can see that on the mats here, they are the new power wave 7.5 is a little bit thicker. It's also slightly larger in diameter. If we take a look at the sides, we can see why. The power wave 5, you can see, is just a uh, pad, nothing special, but the power wave 7.5 has these fins here for cooling. This actually has a fan inside of it. It's still got the uh, rubber ring here to help keep it grip the table, and it still is micro USB. It's got this LED here that it uses for indicating its status. And check the manual for exactly what it means, but it'll let you know what's going on when it's charging, when it's not charging, and if there are any problems such as detected metal or whatnot. If we look at the charging stands, again, these are very similar to each other. If we look at the thickness, we can see that the new PowerWave 7.5 is a little bit thicker and a little bit taller. And the reason that is, is because it's actively cooled. We can see here it's got an intake at the front and it takes intakes air through the back here and out the top. And the stand version 5 doesn't do that. They are both micro USB. Included in both PowerWave 7.5, the stand and the mat, is an anchor power, AC power adapter like this. You can see the plug-ins fold like that. It is got Anchor's IQ technology and it's the Quick Charge 3 compatible. This is the Anchor PowerPort Plus One with Quick Charge 3. And uh, it is 120, 240 capable in 50, 60 hertz, so it works internationally, which is great. And outputs listed as 3.6 to 6.5 volts at 3 amps, or 6.5 to 9 volts at 2 amps, or 9 to 12 volts at 1.5 amps. And that 9 to 12 volts at 1.5 amps is what we'll be using today when we do the quick charge, at least on my phone. It also comes with this nice USB cable. It's a pretty thick, heavy cable. It's like silicone molded. It's micro USB, as I mentioned before, and it comes with this nice Velcro adapter to keep it all together. One thing I would note is I wish this was longer. Three feet is hardly enough to plug in on a power strip on the floor and then get to your charger. It's just a little bit too short. So here is the charger that it comes with, and I just wanted to show here, three amps is no big deal. I've got my power meter set up with the uh, draw, and I'm currently pulling 5.18 volts at three amps, no problems. And I wanted to show my phone actually charging here. So I've got kind of this set up here, kind of precariously. And my phone is quick charging wirelessly. I took the case off just to make it prettier in the video, but it does work with my case. And it's charging right now at 12.2 volts at 0.7.8 amps. And uh, that works rather well. It is defined as quick charge here. We can see here at the top, it says it's fast charging wirelessly. And it estimates my battery, which is at 37%, to be finished in an hour and 49 minutes. That's pretty good. Like all wireless chargers, there is a bit of a sweet spot. And for my phone, Right here seems to be the case, but I can move it. And right there, see it stopped. I can push it back and it re-locks on and starts charging again. It does take it a second just to kind of activate and realize it's charging. It's not completely instant. Anchor says the chargers are compatible with cases up to five millimeters in thickness. On the stand here, this is a little bit hard to show with my setup here the phone will charge like this vertically, or it'll charge like this, which I love. If you're ever watching video on your phone at your desk or something like that, or playing a game, this works fantastically. One thing I did want to show you was, since this does have a fan, I wanted to really show how quiet it is. I sleep with this charger next to my bed, and I don't hear it at all, but I want to put a microphone down there and let you hear what it's like, really, if you put your ear to it. So you can hear there is some noise, but it's really quiet, and the stand is very similar. 
I reviewed the standard Anchor PowerWaves, which I showed about a month or two ago, and have been using the stand at work daily with my Samsung Note 8. I do notice it's slightly slower if I was plugged than if I was plugged into a charger, but it's super convenient. The new PowerWave 7.5 stand and mat solve this problem by supporting wireless fast charging rates. It will charge your new iPhones 8s and 8 Pluses at 7.5 watts, and it'll charge some Android phones like my Note 8 at 10 watts. This is pretty dang fast. There are two things I wish Anchor would change on these designs. Number one is I wish I'd include that longer cable. The included cable is good and high quality, but it's almost too short. If you put your charger, especially the charging stand, on a table and your power supply is on the floor, a longer cable would give you more flexibility and it introduced the option of not using a cable that was compatible or was strong enough to make it work. And number two, I wish they'd offer a black color. This is a personal thing more than a problem. White devices just don't fit in as well with my, the products I own. A gray or black one would be, I think, more universal and fit in with more devices. The Anchor PowerWave 7.5 chargers are not the cheapest on the market. Part of that is they include this Anchor High Quality Quick Charge 3.0 AC adapter, which most others don't have. The AC charger is important because to get fast charging, the charger included with your phone, especially the Apple chargers, don't have enough wattage to support wireless charging. You also get Anchor's warranty and reliability reputation. Anchor isn't a no-name company. They stand behind their products and are great to work with if you do have an issue. If you want a wireless charger for your phone, these are the ones to get. They're fast for a wireless charger, they work reliably, are safe, and have a fantastic warranty. Check out the description below on where you can find them on Amazon. Thanks for watching my video. If you've enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. I've got more content like this coming soon.